attention to higher matters should we in the world of art because a Sky News investigation has revealed that millions of pounds worth of publicly owned works of art, owned by you and me, are lying unseen in vaults around the country. Many councils don't know how many pieces they have or what they're worth, with one authority saying more than 90% had never been on public display. Mike McCarthy reports. It's the part of a museum most of us will never get to see, although we, the public, own the vast majority of its works. More than 90% of Newcastle's collection, including 10,000 costume and textile pieces alone, has never been on public display. But at least they allowed Sky News cameras to film what many other authorities regard as out of bounds. And they do believe that accessibility is vital. When you put a 2,000-year-old piece, piece of Roman pottery in somebody's hands and they realise it's 2,000 years old, that sense of awe, wonder, learning, engagement, connection that you get, you can't replicate that. Freedom of information requests to 10 selected authorities across England uncovered the true value of our largely hidden heritage. For insurance, Nottingham values its collection at £75 million. Southampton is more than double that at £200 million, and Manchester's valuation is £371 million. Nottingham, Southampton and Manchester refused to allow filming of their collections. Liverpool and Bristol said their valuations were confidential. Bristol said 9% of its pieces were on display, Sheffield 5%, and Newcastle, just 3%. Leeds couldn't tell us. These works are lying around unseen in storerooms, gathering dust, costing money. Flog them off, make the most of them, and let's hope that somebody somewhere can actually enjoy them. Like so many other local councils, Bradford is cutting spending on frontline services, raising questions about what to do with its largely stored away works of art. One of the assets that we have is a seriously underused and undervalued an underinsured art collection worth millions that nobody sees and so I think it's right and proper that the uh, councillors do challenge what the council spends its money on and this is one of the things it's spending money on. We have this collection and we've had this collection about 130 years. It's been amassed by Bradfordians and luminaries of Bradford all that time for the enjoyment of people in Bradford and I don't think this generation should sell out uh, just for a short-term measure, short-term fix which is actually not going to solve a great deal. Sale or no sale? The question remains, say the critics. What's the purpose of amassing hordes of treasures when only the mannequins can see them? Mike McCarthy, Sky News. Well, let's get the view of Josh Sparrow, Tatler's art critic. Good to see you, Josh. Well, um, why are they being kept hidden? Well, in practical terms, there isn't enough space. It's also quite expensive to display things. Are you going to build a museum? Are you going to loan them? Are you going to send them abroad? It's quite a lot of money to do that. And while we don't necessarily want councils to sell them, we don't think councils should be expending much more on them at the moment. Why don't you think councils should sell them? That, that councillor from Bradford was just saying, um, you know, these have been collected for 140 years for the enjoyment of the people of Bradford. Well, the people of Bradford aren't getting to see them. Well, I think they should. Um, they're never going to be able to see all of them. As I said, there are just too many pieces. But the people of Bradford should have, they have local museums and the council should start engaging more actively and making sure they try and rotate pieces through the museums or loan them to other areas of Britain which could easily do with them. Uh, in that sense, could they make money out of this by, by loaning them or lending them? I mean, is, is that, if, they're, if they're any good... Is Potentially, that yes, and that's what, I think that is what happens already. They lend them to national or even international museums and galleries, and that's a great thing. But I don't think, if they want to lend them to other councils, maybe they should just do it for free, and therefore increase the traffic so more people will see them, and just not see it as a profit-making exercise. Uh, I mean, are we talking about, you know, millions upon millions of pounds worth of, of sort of treasure trove here, or is some of this just nonsense? Some of it will be you know, tween local paintings that some dignitary has given. And that's fine because that too has a historical value, if not a great artistic value. But there will equally be wonderful things. If you go to the Manchester Art Gallery, for example, they have beautiful collections of pre-Raphaelite paintings, and there are probably more in storage. Now, I don't think we should be getting rid of treasures for future generations just to plug a temporary hole in budgets. Councils will always have, will always need more money, and they can sell this off once, or 
they could keep it in trust for the nation who really own it. Councils think they own it, but that's quite arrogant. They can keep it in trust for future generations to enjoy it for hundreds of years. Do you think it's something that central government should be contributing to financially? Well, central government does support it in one way, because there's something called the government indemnity scheme. So if you want to get insurance to display a work of art, the government will insure you cheaply, because it's actually very expensive to do it otherwise. So if the government helps that and says to more music, more uh, councils, here, if you want to give something to a museum or gallery, we'll insure you cheaply, then they could easily do that. I don't think they should necessarily be giving more money to it, although I think they should be giving more money to art in general. Well, there you go. Josh, fascinating to hear that perspective on it, actually. It makes it uh, more shades of grey than just the black and white argument that, that you can sort of build on that one. Fascinating stuff. Thanks very much indeed. And keep your thoughts coming through on that, if you would, at Sky Steve and at Sky Julian. Your views would be welcome on that. We've got the sport heading away in just a moment. Let's find out what's in store from Kate.